Being 26 years old, Boone is the youngest humanoid companion in New Vegas. Boone specializes in rifles, carrying his own scoped hunting rifle, and is one of only two first recon members to use a scoped rifle. Boone has excellent gun skill and provides the spotter perk, while also being deadly with a melee weapon. He is also resistant to damage for a non-mutant companion. Though Boone states that melee isn't his strong suit, and that he wasn't given much close combat training, melee weapons is one of his tag skills. Boone has the second lowest intelligence stat, tied with Lily's and smarter than Rex. Mortimer will comment on Boone being in good shape and looking healthy while insulting Boone as being a little gamey and rugged when offering to sacrifice him to Mortimer during Beyond the Beef. Care must be taken if bringing Boone to the Red Rock Drug Lab as he may start a fight, especially if Climb Every Mountain is completed, and Oscar Velasco is alive, and ruin the courier's reputation with the Great Khans. If the courier chooses not to tell the king about the messenger during the quest GI Blues, Boone will sometimes attack the missionaries. The courier will not lose him as a companion or even get a warning. Before completing I forgot to remember to forget, where afterward he obtains permanent armor, Boone is the only companion whose clothes are an actual item that can be removed. As such, he can be made to wear any type of clothing or armor, barring most faction armor, before completing said quest. Although Boone claims to never remove his signature beret, he does so by giving it to the courier when finding the culprit for his wife's slavery. Furthermore, he may swap it out for another headset if a suitable helmet is placed into his inventory. Boone and Dean Domino are the only companions who allow their clothes to be taken. If Boone dies, i.e. being the replacement meal for Beyond the Beef, his quest will fail and Mr. New Vegas will report that Bitter Springs has been overrun by Legion forces.